Lord. I welcome this morning to the Rapture Daily Devotional. This morning we are looking at uh, what should be done in the event that uh, you notice that there is a uh, there are evil plans against your life. There are plot against you by the wicked or by evil doers. So what do you do? Amen. You notice that there are plans. You sense that there are plans against your life. There are some evil plans. Maybe witchcraft or cultic, you know, satanic plans. Plans by wicked people, you know, to, to kill or to to destroy or to make life, you know, very unbearable for you. What do you do? That is what uh, we need to understand this morning as we take our text this morning for this devotional this morning from Psalm 64. Let somebody come and read Psalm 64 for me. Let's see what exactly David did so that we can take, we can learn from David. Bible is full of practical examples of how people survived how people, what people did. And the Bible says these things are written for our example so that, you know, we can learn from the wisdom of the scriptures. We can also, you know, you know, be as victorious as they are or even more victorious than they are. Or uh, in another sense, not repeat their mistakes also. So it's read for me with a loud voice. Can you come closer here? Come closer to here and read for me with a loud voice. Read loudly. God, as I voice my complaint, protect my life from the threats of the enemy. Hide. Do what? So, David, what did David do? David voiced his complaint to who? God. Did he go to police? No. There are ten of people in plan, on the plateau anyhow. Look at what is happening in Mangu, happening in Bokos, happening in the Barkeladi and a lot of places. Who are we supposed to voice to? Who are you, what are you supposed to do? In the midst of all this noticeable, this evil we have noticed, this wickedness on the street. Can you read all over again, verse 1? Eh? Hear me, O God, as I voice my complaint. Mm -hmm. So your complaint should be to who? To we have complained enough to governments. And the government have not helped us. Rather, they are the one they say in a, in a mango that uh, the soldier were say there was coffee. So the Christians went inside the coffee. They were protecting the house, the Fulani boys, and they were burning the, the Christian houses. And they are complaining to who do you complain to? Who should we complain to? God. Amen. You know, we have been trying to you know go around the country state by state, tribe by tribe, to what on what is called the national restoration program to tell the people what they should do in a time like this. There are books. We have written books. Will people read? We have written the full step, the pathway, you know, uh, what I call it, uh, the roadmap to collapsing the caliphate and restoring a nation, part one and two. It's a masterpiece on the step by step that we should take to end this nonsense that is happening. Amen. I remember when we went to Bokos for National Restoration Program. We went to every name. I was trying to meet some of them. We were, it was one village we have to, one of the interior we had to go to. The people in the Bokos town could not organize themselves. I was in Mangu, we met the camp chairman of Mangu. I told him about a plan to come and host a program there and be able to educate and empower and tell them what to do. Till tomorrow they said they organize and call us. Till tomorrow they've not called us. The Mangu local government didn't call us to come and organize the program for them. We were in Lantan. In, 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 in Lantan, not to, to, uh, to host a program for them there. We were in Tafa Belua to host a program for them, the National Restaurant Program. We were in Zaukata to host a program for them. Amen. I told that there are people, they never came up with their own program to, to tell us when to come and do program for them. So who do you blame? God has given us wisdom. God has given us, you know, you know precept of a precept, what should be done. And that's why you see that I'm focusing more now on raising disciples. Because these people don't understand. Amen. We have written, I've written, somebody came yesterday from Kaduna Elder, one of our elders in Kaduna called me. He said the last copy of the Glass the Magazine he had past 17, he had to give to somebody yesterday. And the person will say, you mean these things were said? Praise the Lord. The Bible says my people perish for lack of knowledge. 
And the fact remains that we are innocent of the blood of any man. Even though I don't do anything again in this country, with what we have done so far, I am innocent of the blood of any man. So whatever blood is being shed, I am innocent. Because we have risked our life. People refuse to listen to us. And they are paying high price now. Amen. Uh -huh. Read on. Hide me from the conspiracy of the wicked. When you complain to the Lord, Amen, you lay your and you begin to talk. It is only God that can hide you away from what? From the conspiracy of the wicked. God can hide us. And that is what the rapture is all about. The rapture is about God hiding his own, his own bride from the conspiracy of the wicked. And that is why I believe in pre-tribulation rapture. Because the Bible says in, in, in 1st Nicah chapter 5 from verse 1, we read from verse 1 to 9, to 9. He said, for the righteous, he said, for we are not ordained to rot, but to salvation. I'm not ordained to rot. I'm not appointed to rot. The day of the Lord is you to come. It will be a terrible day. But before it comes, before the day of the Lord comes, the, the bride, the spotless bride, the bride who are spotless, remind my word, the bride who are spotless, they will be hidden from that, from the rot of the Antichrist. They will, the Lord will take them away. The woman will have to flee to a place, prepare for her, where she will stay for a time, times and half a time. That is three and a half years. I'm not today. Hey, I will go. If you want to stay back with the Antichrist, good for you. But me, I'm going before the Antichrist will come. Before the anti because the Antichrist, the Bible says the Antichrist will come before the world. He will come before the day of the Lord. That is the time of tribulation. He will come before the tribulation begins. The Antichrist is the one that begins the tribulation. He does three and a half years, then Revelation 13, 6, again, Revelation chapter, chapter 16. Then the rot of the Lamb begins the three and a half years, which will end with the second coming of Jesus, coming with the raptured saints as a company of the Lamb. Sitting upon the rock, upon the up, up, upon the horse, coming to judge, and the Bible says, with the with the with the with the with the with the, with the sword of his mouth, he will judge. He will judge the Antichrist. So, what do we do now? We need to be hidden. We need to pray for God to hide us away from what the hell he done. From that noisy crowd of evil doers. Uh -huh. They sharpen their tongue like their tongues like swords, mm -hmm. and aim their words like deadly arrows. Mm -hmm. They shoot from ambush at the innocent man. They shoot at him suddenly without fear. Mm -hmm. They encourage each other in evil plans. They do what? What do they do? They encourage each other in their evil plan. They will encourage each other. So, but their plan, I can escape their plan. Amen. I can what? I can escape their plan. If I can direct my complaint to who? To Jehovah. If I can direct my attention to Jehovah, not to them, but to Jehovah. He's the one that has the power to hear, to hide us. He's the one that can help us. He's our Ebenezer. He can help us. In this battle, we need the Lord's help. The Bible says it's not for him. The Bible says the horse is ready for battle, but victory coming from whom? From the Lord. The Lord is going to give a victory. Read on eh? They, okay, then put on. They talk about hiding their snakes. They say, who will see them? Mm -hmm. They plot injustice and say, we have devised a perfect plan. Mm -hmm. Surely the mind and heart of man are cunning. Mm -hmm. But God will shoot them with arrows. God will what? Shoot them with so arrows. So when you face the Lord, when you direct your complaint to the Lord, what will God do to them? We saw this in, in 1 Samuel chapter 7. How God shot an arrow against the Philistines. God was the one that shot arrow against them. So God is God has arrow. He can shoot arrow against every wicked man or woman that gather against me, which is wizard or court men, caliphal and headsmen, bookworm, anyone, whatever their name is. God has arrow. And when God shoots, nobody can escape God's arrow. You understand what I'm saying? Man? When man shoot, you can escape. The, but you can't escape there. Where will you run to from God? If God shoot arrow against your enemies, against the wicked, against, where can they run to? We need Jehovah to shoot arrow against the full and in this country. Yes. Against the Boko Haram. Against these wicked terrorists and kidnappers. 
We need bandit. We need God to shoot this arrow. So, what should we do? We must direct our world. We must, at this point in time, we must be focused on the Lord. Amen. Amen. Our garment must be spotless. And that is why in our book, The Seven uh, Prophecies to Bad in New Nigeria, I emphasize the, the longest chapter there is about sanctification. I took time to emphasize so much about sanctification. These books are on Amazon bookstore. By most of the gospel, if you go to Amazon bookstore, you get them. If you want to get them, hard copy, you call us, you contact us, we'll send copies to anywhere you are in this country. They are books that churches you use for Bible school. Bible schools and Bible studies in churches to be able to enlighten the eyes and the minds of the believers to wake up for the reality. Amen. They are available in Albishri Bookshop in Joss, in in, in, in Rice Cooking Bookshop in, in, in headquarters, in Baptist Bookshop in Kaduna. They are the Gloss Bishop Bookshop, Bookshop. They are there in Kaduna. They are there in Cooking uh, Cooking uh, Nyanya Bookshop in Cooking Nyanya, Cooking Youth, Youth, Youth Bookshop in Nyanya. They are there. Amen. And copies are available when you call us on our number. Or chat us on WhatsApp, we'll send you a list and you pay it. It will be to you. Or you go to Amazon bookstore. You check it. It's the same person present to body in Nigeria. But most of the go special. Same person body in Nigeria. Or you check a roadmap to collapse the Caliphate and restore our nation. Part one. And the part two is a is a 16 step to collapse a, a, the Caliphate and restore our nation. That is the part two. It's 16 step to collapse the Caliphate and restore our nation. They are all there. You read them, you use them. Amen. And you see that you'll be enlightened. Uh -huh. Read on. Let's finish up. Suddenly they will be struck down. Read loudly. Suddenly they will be struck down. Mm -hmm. He will turn their own tongues against them. Who is, who, who, suddenly, they, when God shoot arrow, the enemy will be struck down. And that is why I believe strongly that the northern army will be removed from this nation. Amen. Because Jehovah will shoot arrow against them. Amen. And they will, not, they, will be, they will be they will be cut down because the Lord will shoot arrow against the northern army. They will be driven away into a land, desolate and barren. And from there, their stench, the stench that they should have come from. Nigeria will be delivered from the Jordan. It's a done deal. But we are the one elongating it because we have not done what we are supposed to do. We are still crying to God. We are still looking up to government, looking up to the power. We have, no, we have not said looking up to Jehovah. Uh -huh. Read on. He will turn their own tongues against them and bring them to ruin. Of course, God will bring them to ruin. That is certain. Will shake their heads and scorn. Mm -hmm. All mankind will fear. Mm -hmm. They will proclaim the works of God and ponder what He has done. Mm -hmm. Let the righteous rejoice in the Lord and take refuge in Him. Mm. Let all the upright in heart praise Him. So the righteous will rejoice at that point. The upright in heart will praise God because God will do a marvelous thing in this nation. The wicked will not continue. Mm -hmm. They are, they are, they, they are, they are operation have expiring dates. Mm. They have what expiration dates. They will soon expire in this nation. Amen. Their time is running quickly over. Just like the devil. The Bible says, for you know that they have a short time. They too know they have a short time. That is why they are raging this month. Because you know that their time is very short in this country. Very soon, you will not see them again. Amen. See the Jewish and today, tomorrow you shall see them no more. Very soon, the, 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 the wide wind of the Lord's flood will carry them. Amen. And they shall be swept into our beast in the name of Jesus. Amen. Father, we thank you this morning. Lord, because you know the prosperity of the wicked is about to come to an end a nation. Lord, we are asking God that you activate your people to do what they are supposed to do, not to end the siege of the wicked in this nation. Mm -hmm. Father, we bless you. Lord, we glorify your name. Lord, as you bring people to the feast of righteousness, you see, you will help them to get the best they need to get to. Mm -hmm. You will help them to be impacted so that they can become battle assets for the Lord. Mm -hmm. The vessels you use to end the siege of northern army in the name of Jesus. Thank you, Father. In Jesus' name we pray. Amen. It's 10 days to Feast of Rapture 2024. Count it down. 10 days. Annual ministers and missionaries and rapture believers in the camp meeting. It's 6 to 9th of February at the Assemblies of God. That is Bechtel Camp, Lagos, Ibado Expressway. Very close to Redeem Camp. That really goes to the Redeem Youth Center. Accommodation is free. Feeding is free. So make up your mind to come and be impacted because we are we want we are raising battle axes. Men and women that God will use to end the reign of terror, the terror, the terror of the wicked in Israel, because it is men that God will use. We are raising men. We want the vision is to raise men, men and women that will stand 
stall, that will have constant stall in the Lord and will be used as God's battle last to end the wickedness going on in our nation and the continent of Africa and on that continent in the name of Jesus to raise revivalists and, and warriors for Jesus. Amen. The Lord bless you as you plan to either come or you plan to support that program. The Lord will bless you richly in Jesus' name. Amen. So if you want to support, the account details are on the screen. If you want to come, then you check our number on the on the on the this thing. It's, it will be it will be in the in the, in the comment box. You check the detail of the number there. You can contact us on how to register, and the Lord will bring you safely in the name of Jesus. Amen. The Lord bless you richly in Jesus' name. Amen. I am Moses or George Chenmigo Special. Division Coordinator of National Restoration Program. God bless you as you like, as you comment, and as you share widely. The Lord will bless you. Great shall be your reward in heaven. In Jesus' name. Amen. Cover says with the blood of Jesus. The day with the blood of Jesus. Our friends and partners, the blood of Jesus. The fix of rapture. The convert the sub center project with the blood of Jesus. Cover the self refuge project with the blood of Jesus. Thank you, Father. Blessed be the name of the Lord.